Hi again, Simon from Serif here. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the blend tool in Draw Plus to successfully blend colours to achieve some impressive effects. In order to help you understand how the blending tool works when applied to two or more colours, I've prepared this simple tutorial. I'm going to start by blending this first set of coloured circles together. Notice how the blend from red to yellow is achieved in three steps. I'm going to increase the number of blend steps to six and apply the same blend settings to both remaining sets of circles. The position profile of the blend determines the physical distribution of each blend step. From the profile of the graph, you'll see that the position profile is linear. Each circle is weighted evenly throughout the blend. To illustrate the differences between the profiles, here I'll select a curve that represents objects closer together at the start of the blend, and now a profile where they're closer together towards the end. The attribute profile weights attributes like colour and transparency through each blend in a similar way to the position profile. Notice here the increased concentration of red and in this profile the increased amounts of yellow. To highlight the differences more clearly I'm going to increase the number of blend steps in each set to 200. Experiment with different profile combinations in your designs to achieve an effect that you like. Next, I'm going to show you a great tip for quickly adding lighting effects to objects. In this example, I'm drawing a quick shape circle and creating a copy using keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to change the colour of the copy and resize and position it. With the white circle in place, I'm going to use the blend tool to merge both coloured objects together. And there you have it, a real quick and easy way to make objects stand out. I found this effect really useful for creating buttons for a website. Here's another lighting effect to try, one that creates the perception of depth. I'm going to create a star and create a smaller but differently coloured version of the same shape at its centre. I'll blend the stars together and increase the number of steps for a bevel effect. I can easily create a series of stars by converting the blend to a group, creating a copy of the star and using the blend tool to do all the hard work for me. It saves having to copy and paste the object multiple times. A new feature in Draw Plus, from version X5 onwards, is the ability to blend along a path. Here I'm going to draw a circle and blend the collection of stars around it. To do this I need to convert the circle to curves, select the blend and the curve and choose Fit Blend to Curve from the main toolbar. Blending also works along a custom path too. I'll quickly undo my last steps and draw a custom line with the pen tool. Follow the same steps as before. And there you have it. A really powerful and easy way to create attractive logos. OK, that's it for this video. For those interested in finding out more about some of the other effects you can create with the Blend tool, please take a look at the accompanying video in this series on linear and shape effects. If you've used the Blend tool to create some great and interesting effects yourself, then please do get in touch and let us know. Thanks again for watching.